as bored as bored can be, and I can't take it anymore, man. <sighs> Hi, neighbor. It huh? sure is a nice day. Hi, neighbor. It sure is a nice day. What? Whoa. Mimi's happy, friendly, and she isn't forcing me to do her yard work. What's wrong with her? It sure is a nice day, neighbor. It sure is a nice day, neighbor. Oh, man. I think Mimi's been turned into a robot. <laughs> Wally, give me those. Ah! Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Wally, buddy, you gotta help me. Meanie's been replaced by a robot. What? It's just like those Space Invaders movies. First, they start by changing one. But soon, they take over the neighborhood and turn everyone into robots, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I remember that movie. I couldn't sleep for a week. Wally, you will become one of us. <gasps> I don't want to be a robot. Then we've got to stop her. But how? Water. If she's a robot, yeah, a spray of water will make her short circuit all kaplooey. Yeah. But Robot Meanie needs is... A speedish car wash. <laughs> okay, I'll go tell Mimi we're gonna wash her car. Then I'll get her to show us how to open the hood. When I give you this signal, you turn on the water full blast. Yeah, the signal. Hi, neighbor. Uh, yeah, uh, look, we want to wash your car for you, Meanie. That's a neighborly thing to do. Work, work, work. <laughs> yes, get to work, neighbor. You'll do a nice job, I'm certain, because it's such a nice day. Why didn't it work? Wood, the horse is... <gasps> It was his idea. I didn't know it would go all kaplooey. No problem, neighbor. It's nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. You'll need some sheet metal, a radiator, some primer, new tires. And while you're out, why don't you neighbors stop and have an ice cream on me? Uh, oh, robot, 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 robot. We gotta get proof meaning he's a robot. And a picture's worth a thousand words. When I climb up and throw the rope down, you come up after me. Then we'll sneak in through her chimney and catch Meanie robot handed. <laughs> Lucky day. I think we made some noise with that. Accidents happen, neighbors. But I'll clean it up. Then I think I'll go clean up every house on the block. It's only a matter of time before everyone on the block is turned into robots. We have to go set up this electromagnet and zap her circuits good, yeah? the power source. Once we plug the wires in, it'll magnetize the whole upstairs of the house. We need more power. <laughs> ah! 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 Ah!
Sparkle. Get me down, Wood Dagger. This home is a happy home. This home is a happy home. This home is a. to better myself, to be a nicer person, but what does it get me? Deadly squat! Ah! How could this home ever be a happy home when I got two loons living next to me? It sure is nice to have the neighborhood back to normal. Ah, you said it, Woodpecker. No more robots. Maybe I ought to burn your houses down. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Bird Boy? <laughs> Howdy, partner. I ask you, is there anything better in the taste of delicious barbecue ribs? Especially when they're slathered with my thick, tangy, homey, homestyle barbecue rib sauce. Once you've tried it, you'll never want to be without it. For barbecue that ain't phony, it's got to be homey. Sergeant Hogwash. General Oxford is on his way down from Texas. His boys are gonna do some top secret Antarctic core ice training. Oxford has promised his boys a Texas-style barbecue before they start. You know what we say in the Corps, Sergeant. An army marches on its stomach. Yes, sir, they do, sir. Painful as that sounds, sir. That airdrop contains all the Texas barbecue fixings you'll need. Carry on. Now this here's a barbecue Mess for a Texas battalion can't be a teeny weeny roast. It calls for a full-scale Texas-style grill. Now, I'll tell you what, that there beef is still on the hoof. As you were, penguin! <laughs> Just wouldn't be a barbecue without Mama Hogwatcher's famous country coleslaw recipe. Cleanses the palate, don't you know? Oh, you frosty little freeloader! Oh, no, you don't! Hot <laughs> diggity yeah. dog! The flight simulator unit will make the perfect mixing bowl. And everybody knows that the key to any great barbecue is in the sauce. And my super secret recipe would make 50 miles of Texas desert taste good. Yes, sir. Come on. Tim Hart! Insubordination will not be tolerated, especially from an Step out of line again, and I'll bust you down to a scallion. Company, stand by to me. Ah! Oh. 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 
can run, but you can't hide. Especially with that side of beef in tow. Gotcha. And you are now clear for launch, little soldier. Mama Hogwash used to say, a barbecue without beans is like a barbecue without beans. One penguin, sir. What do you mean it's not ready? Then who did that? Huh? Texas sized shish kebabs. Hmm. Now that's army ingenuity. At ease, little recruit. Why don't you join me at my picnic table? But, sir, he's no recruit. He's a penguin. Zip it, soldier. You're going to be peeling potatoes for the next year for leaving this barbecue to a subordinate. <laughs> He's no subordinate. He, he's a penguin. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This barbecue's the best I've ever tasted. You've got real potential, soldier. How'd you like to run the officer's mess from now on? fuel, do you? Well, you're wrong, son! The finder's keeper's laws do not apply in this territory. I have one day's R&R, &R, and I have requisitioned this fuel for myself. Dismissed! <laughs> Bob, 
What? You again? Ah! Uh, say there. <laughs> Short stuff. Uh, no uh, sudden moves. Well, this thing could. Uh... Ah! Halt in the name of the Antarctic Cop! Is one military issue combustibles container, and I cannot allow its transfer to non military personnel without form 5674 and 127 stroke cash. In triplicate, you're a snappy dresser, but you're not too government savvy, are you? Hasta till next time. <laughs> Who could that be? Yes? Oh, a salesman. You're selling a satellite dish that'll get this soldier 500 channels? Perhaps no creature has adapted better to this cold climate than the penguin. Every day, these noble, flightless birds must use their wits to survive. Hey! It's you again! What do you have to say for yourself now? Oh, right. You don't talk. <laughs> ah, lucky I remembered to borrow the platoon cookbook. Let's see. 800 onions, 50 pounds of salt, ah, half ton of flour. Turn off stove. Kiss the fish. Okay, stand on one foot, cover your eyes, and count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, gourmet cooking is hard. Nine. I'll take that. And you get off that machine. Now, shorty! No more! Take the can! Take it! Take everything! I'm going back to camp! Ending my leave! If I get any more rest and relaxation, it'll t The first day of baseball season! Woo! -hoo! Come through! Hey! hey no back to the line, What are you doing, bub? One front row ticket to the ball game, please. Well, the game's sold out, pal. This line is for people who bought in advance. I just gotta see my favorite players up close. <gasps> Twiggy. That sports nut is more loaded than the bases before a grand slam. Oh, oh, oh. maybe you'll buy these underwears worn by Big Butt McGurney in the... Uh, we're out of the sweaty underwear business, Twiggy. You and me is now in the stealing this woodpecker's wallet business. Oh, but we gotta get him out of this crowd. 
I told you, the game is sold out! <laughs> Hello, sports fan! Looking to see some big-time baseball stars up close and personal? Aw, uh, I can't. The game's sold out. Well, <laughs> I am Coach Buzz Buzzard from Buzzard's Fantasy Baseball Camp. Where you get to play real baseball with real baseball stars. And today I'm offering one lucky sports fan, yeah, that would be you, a free membership. Just follow us. Free? Woo -hoo! Take me out to the fantasy ball game. Sports camp is this? What? Uh, well, it's the kind that's uh, out of the way. So those big baseball stars can hang out real private. Great, let's get playing. Oh, yeah. Hey, why don't you go through the clubhouse there? Whew. Smells more like an outhouse. Stealing this room's wallet's gonna be tougher than I figured, Tweaky. Go make us a baseball field and fast. Memorial Stadium. This is a cornfield. Oh, it's the uh, field of my dreams. Hey, uh, yeah, let's get you uh, warmed up. We'll use our new automatic pitching machine. Uh, you stand right here. Wallet, we can get the wallet. Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 Okay, I'm ready to play with the stars. <laughs> uh, well, not until. Uh, well, you still need to work on your. Uh... That's it. A real pro knows how to slip and slide with the best of them, sport. And I'll give you a little something extra to get you going. Excuse me? Huh? Oh, I said I'll uh, give you some extra pointers to get you going. Now, try a head voice slide. It'll get you into base faster. <laughs> You were sliding. Eh, there's no stars at this camp. I'm out of here. Wait, I think I see one of the biggest baseball stars of all time. Tweaky, go be a star player or we'll lose this jump for good. Your fantasy camp is nothing but a fantasy, Coach Buzzard. Indeed, he do. May I give you the famous Babe Birdie? Ah, oh, I'm the world's biggest baseball star. Hmm, how come I never heard of him? He's, uh, the best-kept secret in baseball? So, you think you're pretty good stealing and running and stuff, huh? Well, I bet you can't handle my pitching. Give him your best shot, sport. I'll teach these lowballs to use baseball to steal a guy's wallet. Batter up! Knock him into next week, Tweaky. Then we'll get his wallet and van moose. Yourself to a meatball. <laughs> My custom slider. <laughs> Watch out for my bee ball. Twinkie, stop! <laughs> We'll get his wallet if it's the last thing we do. Oh, the woodpecker is rounding third for home. Yeah, and you 
you're gonna be out cold at home. The woodpecker makes a spectacular catch. Would you look at that woodpecker play ball? in play. Big Butt McGurney. Wow. Would you sign my glove? You know, anybody who loves baseball the way you do deserves a front row seat to the big game today, Mr. Woodpecker. <laughs> Next time we watch the game on TV. <laughs> C. Tenant will maintain property in condition in which it was rented. But, but, and said tenant will be out on his tail feathers if this place isn't spick and span in one hour! Oh, man. I'm gonna miss my pre-game practice on the driving range. Hmm. If I gotta clean up, I might as well have a little sport and fun while I'm at it. Cha cha cha. Like I always say, if you can't see the mess, there is no mess. Hmm. This calls for a putter. Well, that ought to do. Ah, of course, shit off, woodpecker. That's where your coat was all along. Let the healing cleanup games begin! First event, the Mighty Hammer Crush! Okay then, it's on to the kitchen for some deep sink diving! Let that soak for a minute. Ah! 
There's no way he could have cleaned up that mess by now. I'll finally get rid of that good-for-nothing woodpecker once and for all. Before she comes too. Are you okay, Miss Meanie? You must have passed out from the cleaning fumes. I was so busy scrubbing this place spotless that I didn't even see you come in. Huh? I don't remember any fumes. Say, where is everything? Uh, how about, uh I sent the furniture out to be shampooed. <laughs> yeah. I know what you did. You just hit everything in. Huh? Woodpecker? I don't know what to say. You did an amazing job cleaning. How in the heck did you do it so fast? Eh, nothing to it. Just a bit of elbow grease and some old-fashioned woodpecker know-how. Hmm. Hiya, buddy. Sorry I'm late, pal. Had a little mess on my hands. I can beat that. Mind if I am? Not too hot! Oh well, sand trap, water hazard, living room. Definitely a three iron. Now that's a clean shot. <laughs> ah, a perfect beach day. Clear skies, fresh air, and a flat tire. Iguana Ted's Junk Heap. Out of business? Well, if Iguana Ted is out of business, he won't need this! If you squint, the sand looks beachy. Hey, my tire! <laughs> Say, banana boy, that's not your... <gasps> Try and make a monkey out of me, will ya? <laughs> sand and surf, here I come! <laughs> sells tickets to see other animals in cages. <laughs> hmm. That ape's too big to bully. I'll have to make a trade. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 I can see the jungle safari ride. 
right from here. Oh, yeah? It's all yours. Let me help you out, bub. Yep, you're a real swinger, all right. Consider a yearly pass. Say, Bob, how's about a game of guess which coconut the ball is under? Mm. Watch where I put the ball. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha 